Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Alicia and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. So yesterday I went to Goodwill to thrift and oh my gosh, I have not been thrifting in a really long time. I've been ordering everything online and I really prefer that way. Um, I, I like shopping. But it, it takes a lot of time, you know. Um, but anyways, it, w it was fun to get out and shop again for the first time in like forever. But I, let's see, I spent a total of $92.23. I got 16 items, so that put my um, cost, average cost per good at about $5.76 per item. But I will share what I paid like actually paid per item when I go through. Um, so blue tag was half off yesterday. Um, I got three pairs of shoes and the rest are shirts, sweaters, whatever. Um, yeah. And so with Goodwill, I don't typically like to go there. I like to go to St. Vinny's, St. Vinny's, St. Vincent de Paul. Um, but they were closed by the time I got to the store so I had to go to Goodwill and Goodwill really prices things up a lot I would say but sometimes you can find good things and I would say I found a few good things so the first thing I have I'm going to start with the shoes is a pair of Crocs and it's a purple tag so I did pay full price they were $3.99 so they were about $4 um but, and I know that Crocs don't sell for a ton, but they're a quick flip. And, I mean, let me look at what comps. Because I've never sold Crocs, and especially not Croc flip-flops. So it looks like they're listed at about, I would say, like $20 to $30. Um, sold comps, uh, like $20. Bucks. 15 to 20 yeah, like about 15 to 20 So I'll still make a decent, a good profit, in my opinion, on these. So there's those. The next item I found, I actually, I forgot to look up the comps for these. But they're little booties. They're super cute. And it's real leather. Like, I could tell by feeling them. It's like that buttery, smooth leather. Um, and they're, it does say on here, genuine leather upper. So the brand is Leather Craft. By fashion tradition oh let's see can you guys see that I don't know if you're gonna be able to see inside of there there you kind of go um so these were on sale here's the bottom so they're size 7 and they were on sale they were the blue tag so they were $9.99 so I only paid five dollars for these let me look up comps for these because I actually haven't looked yet. Oh, these are leather craft by fashion tradition. Okay, so looking at comps, I... Wow, so some of these, I here's a pair. Um, it's There's not too many. There's a pair that sold for $60. They're tall leather boots, so I won't get that much for these. But... I paid $5 and I'm sure I can get 30, 20, 20 to 30 dollars for these. So that's exciting. And that was completely off of gut cuz I did not look those up. So these I did look up. So these are tiny. These are a size 5. No, they're a size 7. Um here they are. They're super cute. There is a flaw. Oh yeah, this is kind of like peeling up. But they're cute little heels. So I paid $5.99 for these. They were $6. Um, typically, I'm, I looked at them, I'm like, oh, you know, I wasn't going to get them. But I, I thought, okay, I'm going to look up this brand while I was in the store. And the comps looked really good. Um, they're Onyx heels. So here's the... Here's the brand that I show you guys, a good view. So these are selling for, uh, some for 35, 50, well there's some for 15, 
19, 15, 20. So I think I can get like 20 bucks. Maybe, maybe, hopefully, like 20 bucks. Okay, so I, when I, I seen a comp that said 60 and I think I thought they were really good, but now I'm seeing that there are a lot lower comps. But it's all right. $6 for these. Okay, so that's it for shoes. Next thing I found, and I've heard good things about this brand. It's called Yogalicious. Um, so I, I, there's a couple of Yogalicious items at my thrift store or at the Goodwill. But the other one, I think it was priced up too much for what it was. This was $8.99, so I paid up for this one also. But it looks like I can get at least... I don't know, $25, $30 for this. Um, it's just a plain sweatshirt. Uh, it's got the thumb holes, I believe. Yeah, the thumb holes. So yeah, I did pay $8.99 for that, which I typically I would not spend that much on an item. Next thing was another blue tag. It was $8.99, but because it was a blue tag, it was like $4.50. But I got it because it is Walt Disney World. And I know that stuff like this tends to do... My back is starting to hurt. I'm sorry. Stuff like this tends to do pretty well. So, yeah. Um, paid $4.50 for it. And I think I could get $20? $15 maybe? I don't know. I think I could get at least $20. Next thing that I have here, it's DKNY. And it's not... This isn't a brand that necessarily necessarily uh resells for a lot but i thought it was like a super cute shirt um i mean i was kind of contemplating keeping it for myself <laughs> it's a size small but it's a, also it's a blue tag it was 6.99 i would not have gotten it at 6.99 but because this blue was half off so it was about 350 for this shirt so i think this one will do okay okay this one was <clears throat> So this, I wouldn't say it's an experiment, but more like, I wasn't extremely sure. Okay, so it's Soft and Sexy by American Eagle Outfitters, which that brand, it's more of like a, I would say bread and butter brand. Um, I've sold their items before. Not for a ton, they don't go for a lot. But like, this is cute, and it's got like the cute detailing in the back here. So I did go ahead and pick this up. It was $3.99, but a blue tag, so it was only $2. So this I thought I could make a good profit on. Okay, this one I also paid up for. It is this cute um, turtleneck cable knit sweater, and it's Columbia. And um, I know Columbia doesn't always do the best, but... So it's a size medium. But this is different. I've never come across a Columbia sweater like this. So I thought I'd give it a shot. It, I did pay $8.99 for it. So I paid a lot. But I do think I can get at least, at least $25. I'm hoping. I don't know. We'll see. So this was kind of like an experiment, I guess, in a way. Okay, next. So I got a couple 100% cashmere sweaters like one right after the other this is adrian vitadini 100 percent two-ply cashmere here's the tag i don't know that brand but it looks like it's definitely a high-end brand um yeah it's super soft again cashmere it's just like a little cardigan um sweater here and i remember i looked at comps for this brand and comps looked really good let me actually look again quick because I know. So for like cashmere sweaters, um, there's some for like, there's one for 40, 39, there's 22, 20, there's one for 12. Um, so I think I can get at least 20 for this. I paid $5.99 for it. Um, I swear every time I'm at the store when I look up comps it's like I find way better comps while I'm at the store but when I'm at home and I look at comps I'm like oh it's not that good but anyways I do know I can make a decent profit on this so 
The next cashmere item I have, it's this L.L. Bean, and it is 100% cashmere. It is so soft. Extremely soft. Um, here is the tag. And it was $8.99. This, was, this one was a lot, too. There's that one. This one was the first item I found in the clothing aisle. I was really excited. Put me off to a really good start. I think they mis um, priced it. I don't think they knew what they had because it is a Lululemon jacket, which I've never found Lululemon at my stores. I don't. I don't think I have. Um, but there it is. Super cute. Um, so it the tags on and everything. It's a size six. It says. So, I don't know. I may keep this. I don't know. Do I really need it, though? Maybe it's a little too small. No, this would fit me. I'm really, I'm really contemplating. But it was only $5.99. I'm like, no way. So, I feel like that was a steal. They definitely had to have mispriced that. Or not under, not realize that they had Lululemon right in their hands. Because, um... Yeah, they, like, I know, oh my gosh, they're American Eagle jeans. They price at, like, $15 a pair. It's ridiculous. I'm drinking a Celsius, if you're wondering. Okay, next, it's another L.L. Bean. And this one, I feel like they, I definitely feel like I did well with this one. Um, so here it is. It's a sweater. It's the L.L. Bean. But it was a blue tag, and it was $7.99, so I only paid $3.50 for this. Um, and I know that this is kind of like, I'd have to look up, I've never, I don't sell LL Bean very often, I don't come across it that much, but I do know it's a good brand to sell, so I do think that's going to bring in a really good profit, a really good return. Um, so next one I have, it's Umji, and I don't know who I watch, but I, the name Umji, it just like rang a bell, like it sounded really familiar. So I did look it up. It, so the shirt was $4.99. I paid $5 for it. Um, and it looks like depending upon what you have, it can definitely bring in a good return. This one, I think maybe I'll get like 20 bucks for it. So it's not going to be a huge return. Maybe, maybe 25 I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's a brand I've never sold before, so... It's always fun to pick up brands that you've never sold. Um, oh, I have two more shirts. So this is another soft and sexy. It was $6.99, but it was a blue tag, so I paid $3.50. Um, but I got it because usually when I find soft and sexy, they're very plain, solid colors. But this one is really cool. It's got like the moon there. Looks like the ocean. I don't know. It's just really cute. I thought this was really cool. And I think this could go for $20, $25. We'll see. And then, last but not least, I got this. It's ACDC uh, Hell's Bells. So when I looked up comps for this, um, sleeves are cool too. They're like sparkly. When I looked up comps for this, uh, I typed in also the Hell's Bells. And it looks like... This could be worth some really good money. Um, so I paid $5.99 for it. But I think I can get like $30. Or I don't know. That might be a little more than... I, I don't know actually. Because comps were kind of all over the place. But I think I can get a decent return. Um, I do have one more item. I didn't bring it inside because I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not. But it was a pair of waders. Like hunting waders. I... Um, my fiance does a lot of duck hunting where they use waders and stuff like that. It's like the rubber boots that are attached to like waterproof pants so you don't get wet. Um, I, they're in the car. They're Cabela's and I did not see any like holes in the seams because typically with those you get holes in the seams. Um, I paid $5.99 for those pair of waders which I thought was a steal. So they're size 12. If Willie doesn't want them, I'm going to sell them, and I know I can probably sell them for, like, at least $100. Um, 
well, at least 75, I'd say. So that was really exciting to find. But that is what all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. It's really fun to get out there and shop again. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.